Welcome to Spartan Design University, where learning is easy. My name is Paul Cheney, and I would like to take you on a quick walkthrough of a responsive website. This is one that uses HTML5 and media queries to present the law firm, the red firm. Notice that on the home page, they've got a slider here, and if you just wait for a few seconds, it automatically slides to the side. They've also got a featured practice area that floats here to the right and then content. If we go to other pages, the featured practice area, if I go to different ones, sometimes there's just photographs over here, there's content, different bullet lists, and of course the footer. So, very flat look, very um, clean design. Let's now take a look at this same site on a tablet. So here we have our tablet in landscape mode. Notice that the navigation, instead of being up here, because remember, on a tablet there's no such thing as hover. So I've exposed the navigation so that you can instantly, one touch, you've got access to any page in the entire site. Also over here on the right side, we still have the featured practice area showing up of course with the footer. Now I flip it, everything shrinks down. Okay, This text takes a little bit less space, this takes a little bit less space over here, but this is what's nice. Now you can't see my finger, but I've got, I can touch and swipe this thing using my hand because it's touch enabled. So that's a nice feature. If I were to go to a different page, that's gone, and now I'm just back to a basic page with content and a footer. Now let's jump to the phone version or the mobile skinnier version of it. Okay, here we go. So here's our phone version. Notice that um, on the home page I still have this touch enabled slider. I'll go to the home here. Notice this home page has the featured practice area. That's just a little bit more information, and it's great. But over here on the phone, I just don't have that much space. So I just eliminated it. It's gone. We're just getting right to the content necessary. Notice that over here, I have all this space dedicated to navigation because I've got a fairly large screen. On the phone, screen real estate is a premium. So I've collapsed all my navigation into this little drop down with a sub menu and then it collapses back into this tiny little square up here at the top so it doesn't get in the way of my site. So if I were to go to a different page or to yet another page here's all of the content minus the featured practice areas that are showing up on the other two versions of the site. So let's look in the back end of this thing. View page source. We have a reset CSS. We have a phone default which does not have a media query. It just jumps right in to the code. And then we have a tablet CSS which begins at a minimum width of 601. It does not have an upper limit. So this is a mobile first design the tablet kicks in at 601 and all of these rules apply beyond 601. And then our desktop kicks in at 1141 and continues to infinity where these rules add to the previous tablet rules and to the previous phone rules.